Fedora Media Writer. It's either Apple or Windows. Got a Windows. It's downloading the latest version. Open file. Yes. Agree. Choose location. Next, run Fedora Writer. Okay, I'm going to run it. As soon as it opens, I'm going to shut this off. create live USB just click here and it will download let's see ready to write when it's finished downloading it's got no drive in it which they're talking about this <clears throat> <clears throat> Make sure on your USB you don't have anything on because it will uh, wipe it off the whole whatever you have on. So, okay, I'm going to insert it into the machine. Okay, it recognized it. See, uh, right to drive. With this one click, it creates the uh, USB and it downloads the 1.9 gigabytes as well with that. I just plugged in the uh, USB uh, drive, sand disk, cruiser blade, right to disk. And it's going to write to the disk. Oh, it's nearing the end. Checking the written data. I got the USB out and I'm going to reboot my set and uh, go into the BIOS and uh, boot from the USB. I have Fedora on the USB key. I'm going to plug it in the machine and turn it on. And I've got the computer to boot to USB. See Fedora, I'm going to go up, start Fedora. Workstation Live 35. Okay, we're going to try without installing right now. going to try. I don't like this wallpaper, so I'm going to change it. Type in Winnipeg. Thirty-seven. I can.
can change that to uh, Celsius, three above. Installed to hard drive. Right now I have Windows 11 on the hard drive. And for some reason it's not identifying it. So if you happen to install, you're going to wipe out your operating system right over. You're going to put Fedora right over top of it. That 232 gigabytes, but it doesn't show that there's a Windows 11 installed on it. So what you'll do is you'll definitely delete the whole thing. So I would advise you to uh, installation destination. Okay, I want to get out of this now. Are you sure you want to quit? Yeah, I do. Okay, I'm going to plug in another hard drive and all. Because I definitely don't want to install it over the uh, Windows 11. Some of the Linux programs show you that you can uh, partition it in half and then boot from your, from your Linux on one side and your Windows from the other. But for some reason this installation is not showing the Windows 11. So I'll be back when I am. Um, I'll have to quit Fedora. Yeah. Power off. Power off. Power off. You've inserted SanDisk Cruiser Blade 16 gigabytes that already contains a live system. Do you want to restore it to the factory settings? Yes. This is after you're done. Restore. I'm going to restore it. Your drive was successfully restored. And that's blank.